I'm Nikki Ramsey, and I'm from West Lafayette, Indiana, and I'm here seeking $100,000 for 10% equity in my company. Sharks, when I became a mom and started breastfeeding, I was going through thousands of these single-use plastic storage bags to give my baby white gold. Mm -hmm. I wanted a better way to store my breast milk, and I knew it wasn't just me that felt this way. After countless attempts at trying to store my breast milk, I was left with white gold leaking <gasps> all over the place. Oh, yeah. Precious gold, sharks! Mm -hmm. So, instead of the five ounces that I needed, I was only left with two. I literally cried over spilled milk. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to create a safe, effective, and space-saving storage option for all mamas out there. Sharks, no more crying over spilled milk because now you have Janobi, a revolutionary, plastic-free, and reusable breast milk storage bag of its kind. Janobi is eco-friendly, made using 100% food-grade silicone, and stands the test of time. Unlike other products out there that have no lines or measurements and can't stand upright, our patent-pending product is specifically made with your baby in mind. I'm on a mission to bring Janobi to parents everywhere for the future of our planet and for the future of our children. So if you want your milk fresh, fresh <laughs> as can be, then you have to try Janobi. Sharks. Oh, man, that is awesome. Look, you take a problem, you see a problem, you experience a problem, you turn it into the mother of all invention, and that is a pun intended. It's kind of surprising that somebody else doesn't make this already. I wonder if she has competitors. I wonder if they'll get into that, because I, I feel like there should be. Um, I also wonder why the bag? Why not um, just keep putting it into the bottle? I mean, we... We did the breast milk thing for, I want to say, first six months of Ava's life, and that, uh, I, yeah, it was a lot of, it was, I mean, it was a lot of work on my wife. Uh, it was a lot of, you know, effort and and, you know, all around, which is why I think only the first six months, uh, she did it. So, but I mean, hey, if if it if it's what made Ava so smart, then uh, the job well done, you know, job well done. But. Uh, uh, you know, I look a hundred million dollar valuation. Hopefully, uh, Nikki's got some sales and some traction, and uh, you know is uh, is pricing it in for the sharks to to jump on and, and get a deal here going. Just like you can get a deal heading over to shopsuperjoe.com, get your hoodies, your well, your ABCs, your apparel, your books, your quote coaching courses and stickers over at shopsuperjoe.com. Own Janobi products to try out and test for yourselves. So do that. you just slide this off? Yes. So, so it comes nice with a, yes, okay. it comes with a, a slider in order to make sure that the breast milk stays secure because silicone is a very soft material and it has to have something a little bit Nikki, hard to keep it closed. It? So it's dishwasher safe, um, it's high heat tolerant. Really? I have to say this particular slider is very easy to put on, which I didn't expect to be put on, and Absolutely. very secure as it slides into place. It stands on its own. Absolutely. So well, not really. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're so not you're not getting high. She's already not doing hard. the demonstration uh, right. So Barbara brings up a great point. They can stand upright, or if you compress them and squeeze all the air out, they have the capability to lay flat. Because moms, we all know, they like to freeze their breast milk. Of course. Just for later use. How did you come up with this? So I was a traveling therapist, just returned from maternity leave. I had a baby, of course, and he had a tongue-tied lip tie, and oh, wow. um, oh. it's like a medical condition, and he was nursing a lot. As a result of his nursing, my body thought, okay, I need to produce more milk, and I was going through thousands of these single-use plastic breast milk bags. I went to the marketplace to look for something that was a reusable product specifically made for the size of breast milk, which typically women store in four to six ounces. And I couldn't find anything, of course, like it because it didn't exist. So I started working on it and I tapped into a need, honestly, that, that I did not know existed. Incredible. Okay. Wow. All right. So I guess I guess maybe she doesn't have any competition uh, specifically for it. at least no one's pointed that out yet. Or oh, unless that's what Mr. Wonderful's about to do. Uh, again, as I always say, like finding that, uh, you know, that problem, figuring out a solution for the problem. Uh, and and I am impressed being able to throw it into the dishwasher is a that's a that's a big deal because I think with the baby bottles we had to wash all those by hand because you couldn't put them in the dishwasher and being able to do that you know saves saves a bit of time. How much? 
today retail at $34.99 for the four pack and our two pack retails at $19.99. Okay, and what does it cost you to make the four pack? The four pack landed is at around $7.80 and our two pack landed is around $4. Okay, good margins. I was just going to say, I love this product. I breastfed both of my children, but both of my children were born very early. So the breast milk, like, that hasn't kind of kicked in yet becomes, like, gold. But what I want to understand is, like, what your competition is. Who else is doing this? So Genobi launched uh, November 2019. Within six months, unfortunately, we did have some, uh, some knockoffs come in the market. And the knockoffs, they can't compare to Genobi. One of our competition... They have a bag and literally you can take the bag and just squeeze it open and the milk just spills out. Oh. Yeah, that, I mean, that's not, I mean, I can't say I'm overly surprised. Uh, you know, when, when somebody's passionate about it, right, when they're a super entrepreneur and they, you know, are passionate about what they're creating and they put love into what they're creating, they make sure that things like that are addressed, that, that things like that can't and don't happen, right? And when you're rushing to market to, oh, we can make that, like, oh, it's just silicone. Like, well, we got a silicone factory. Like, let's go. We can make it happen. Um, you, you're, just, you're just literally uh, knocking it off and, and not putting any thought process or care into the product to just, you know, hopefully – gain some sales because there's you know the the price of these bags aren't cheap and silicone in theory is i mean food grade silicone might not be as cheap as just normal silicone but or or borderline <laughs> food grade silicone um and and okay you know oh you can't put ours in the dishwasher but it's fine no it doesn't matter else our sales for this year to date have been eighty-six thousand dollars. Did you light up Amazon right. yet? So we were on Amazon, but because we have an inventory crisis, I'll say, we diverted our sales from Amazon to our website so we can retain more of our money. You're not on Amazon now. Not on Amazon. Well, now, but she said honey. something more interesting. You said you didn't have enough inventory to keep right. up because. So since we've been self-funding ourselves pretty much with money that comes into the company, um, we would... So you needed to have money come in before you could buy. Exactly, What's your yes. lead time for the manufacturing? Six weeks. Nikki, I want to hear a little bit more about you. I grew up in a very non-traditional household as a teenager. I experienced um, homelessness one night while I was sleeping on this abandoned apartment floor. I thought to myself, there has to be a way out of this generational cycle, this generational curse of poverty. Mm. And thankfully, I told my school counselor what was going on with me. And she was able to connect me with this homeless shelter. And they let me stay there until I finished my academics. And then I went on to college and graduated college and graduate school. It's a blessing and a miracle that I'm standing here right now. You'll never give up. Great what story. What a fabulous story. Yeah, that is, that is. I mean, look, I um, when I worked over at HopeWorks in Camden, New Jersey, we dealt with youth that that were struggling with similar situations, or, or have and are dealing with similar situations. Not being able to have um, food, you know, food. Uh, well, what's the? There's a term for it, but the not being to know where your food is coming from, right, and not being able to know where you're going to be able to stay and have dealt with homelessness and dealt with, you know, all these different struggles that uh, it's a shame that anybody, especially in our, in in America, uh, have to come to terms with and have to to deal with. And uh, having that mental shift of I'm going to take this situation and I'm going to be positive and and push forward uh, and and have some help along the way with the right people. I mean that that in itself is a blessing, right? Being able to 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 be able to bring that the right people around you to give you the right guidance, to give you the the right leg up, uh, is so so critical. Um, and in in that in that process of life of growing up and dealing with things that you know is easy to just do the can do the wrong thing continue to do the wrong thing and and just let it let things fall as they may um so all, awesome awesome job on on you nikki for for being able to lift yourself up uh and and say something you know let others let someone else know that there's a problem 
talk to us a little bit more about the business. You said you've done 86,000 in sales this year, but what are you projecting for the rest of the year? And I'm assuming the main reason you're here talking to us is because you don't have the money to fund your production. Is that right? Yes. So we are projecting $300,000 in sales by the end of this year. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Do you have them in stores? We were working with a broker to get us in retail, but when you work with a broker, it can get a little expensive. Yeah. And yep. with the pandemic, we thought that it was better to take the money that we were giving the broker and put it back into our inventory. All right, so when I, when I do a deal on Shark Tank, I like to get my hands dirty in the product. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it's true because I, I try and tell a story about it to my millions of followers, but obviously this is a disconnect for me. I mean, I haven't been worrying about breast milk too much lately. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you're terrific. I wish you the best, but I'm out. Thank you. Mr. Yeah. Wonderful has the Mr. Wonderful wedding line. What what goes after weddings? Babies. God, I don't understand how, you know, Mr. Wonderful, I would love to have you on the show because that that is like the number one thing that I would like to ask you. Look, business is business. Uh, it, it's numbers. It's relationships. It's trust. It's marketing. It, there's so many, so many things about it. And I get that you're not. <laughs> that you're not getting involved with breast milk anytime soon. Uh, but you you already have the email list. You have the demographic. I, I, I don't I don't get it. I don't I just don't get it. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. Congratulations on your success. The the road you've taken to get where you're at. I mean, it's incredible and you deserve so much credit, but this is certainly not my wheelhouse. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. They're not wow. asking either of them, any of them to, uh, it's not like she's selling the breast milk that they're asking for. Jeez, this is, this is insane. After 13 seasons, you know, it is hard to say that you're not going to go in on a deal when you really love an entrepreneur. You're unbelievably impressive. I think you're fantastic. You saw a need, you had a problem, you created a solution. But I don't think that this is the right business for me. I wish you good luck. I don't know. Okay, thank you, Lori. I also, also, I wonder, like, would it be possible to, like, would it reduce, like, reducing costs, right? So she, obviously, Nikki, you need to increase the amount of uh, your order, right, to get your cost down. Because even at... Even at nineteen, I think I'm pretty sure it was nineteen ninety nine for for two for the two pack. I know the cost is four dollars, but uh, you know I, I I'd like to see you get that down like half of that. So it's like a four dollar unless it's four dollars for the for the pair. I guess that yeah, I guess that's four dollars for the pair. So okay, so that's that's actually that's actually fine. Um, but I'd still like to see that if you can get that cut down. I wonder if if you made one that wasn't um dishwasher safe if that would enable you to take the cost down maybe in half or you know the other question would be like what what amount what volume do you have to get to to get that get that cost even further down so you you stop running into this uh hand to mouth inventory problem that you're you're experiencing nikki i really really like you i love your story and i love where you're at right now i think it's incredible i think that the businesses that do really well right now are those that have a purpose and that can really you know get an audience and speak to a very very specific audience and i love the fact that this is a sustainable product and that you've got a real clear market so i'm actually going to make you an offer I think that you are at the beginning of the journey. You're going to need a lot of help. So I'm going to give you the 100,000, but I think I need 25% of the business. Whoa, Emma. That's my okay. That's, okay. So look, uh, it's not unfair. It's not an unfair valuation, given that she's on track to do 300,000 in 2021. And once she gets the inventory issues fixed, you know, fixed up, I mean, I guess my thing would be if I'm there and I can't get her to push down to maybe 20%, I'd like to see, you know, some more cash in there. Maybe get get to $150,000 uh, at least. May I hear other offers? <laughs> You're so nice. I don't mind you. have an offer right here. So I'll just, you know, I'm just raising my hand. You just never you know. know. She might change her right, mind. The offer's here. I'm ready to roll. That's a great offer. Let me just tell you, I would have given the same offer 25%. So I wish you luck on that. Nikki, what do you oh, want to do? You. Would you do 150000 for 12%? 12%? Whoa! Whoa. 
Oh no, 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 no. We're going in the, we're going very much in the wrong direction. 150,000 for 12 Wait, I, um Wow. Okay. Uh I think we got to rein this in a little bit here. I I was, I said 150,000, but like for either 20% or 25%, just so that you have the money for the inventory and and hopefully can build out a volume. But I'd like to hear what that is. Now, that probably got brought up and maybe it was cut out. I don't I don't know. Whoa. Wow. No. No, Nikki. Whoa. Right, here's don't the thing. Everybody here has dropped out. So I'm your only hope right now, right? I'm just going to tell you how it is. Because what you need right now is so much. I can help you, but I think that my offer is pretty fair. Look, you're still going to own 75% of it. Right. So yeah, when this you blows up, you're that. still going to be rich. I'll give you the other side of that. 25% is a hefty slice. Yes. I'm you sure you got to where you were trusting your instinct and making your own judgments. And from the way I see it, you've done pretty well. So you might go into your own self and ask you how that fits. Well, I wasn't looking at giving up that much equity um, out of our company just yet. Would you do $100,000 at 15% equity? Oh, oh, oh. I'll do $100,000 at 22.5. Final offer. Wow. I can't. Oh, man. That is not. That is, I mean, closer to the 20%. I, I, I mean, I, again, would have liked to see like 150000 But uh, don't don't let this slip through your fingers, Nikki. Um, that is a lot of liquid gold spilling. <laughs> we were not looking at giving up that much equity. Who's the we? You can definitely walk back out of that door and you can spend the next few years trying to accelerate this business or you can work with me and do it a hell of a lot quicker. But, you know, it's your choice. Ding, ding. Um. Yeah, we'll take that wow. 22%. You got a deal. Yeah. All right. Oh, no, I, I'm... Oh, I'm, oh, I'm still... I'm still curious who's the we that we're talking about here. Like, what percentage does Nikki own? I don't think I was breathing for five minutes. Congratulations, Nikki. Thank you, guys. Bye, Nikki. I am really glad that I countered back with Emma because not only did I keep more equity in my company, but I also got an amazing shark who I feel is going to be perfect for Janobi and perfect for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nikki, I'd love to have you come here on the show for an interview, talk about your Shark Tank experience, talk about your business, and uh, get to connect and all that. So uh, just drop a comment down below. Like, And I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, a Dame? And Cena? Hey, Joe, I always forget to leave a comment, but I really appreciate you posting the episodes. I love this show. Thanks for, for Brazil. Ding, ding. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the, the show and, uh, and learning with us and having a great time. Uh, appreciate you uh, being in the super community. Anyway, uh, if you want to check out the website and social media for, for Junabi, uh, which I love the name, by the way, uh, I feel like that should have came up how why like what's the the name or reason behind the name uh just click on this link of uh, this video up here if not i'll see you in the video down below take care and go be super